because I was not allowed to play or practice on the golf course. I used to uh, play on the beach. I used to practice seven, eight hours per day. <laughs> I, I have to say that Sevi has been my idol since I started playing golf when I was just five years old. And the way that I went to the casting was really funny. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went to the casting because one normal day uh, I went to my golf course that is called Mataleñas and the secretary of the golf course told me, look, Jose, there is a casting to play the role of Sevi. Why don't you go there and try to be Sevi? <laughs> and I told her, are you kidding me? <laughs> How am I going to be Sevi if I have never been an actor or something like that? Because I was always an extra in the school place, always in the corner of the stage. Um, finally, I went with one of my school, one of my golf friends that is called Raúl, <laughs> and we basically wanted to just have fun. But finally, after one month more or less, I wa I remember that I was at the golf course because I had a tournament, and I received a phone call, and they told me. We want you to play the role of Sevi, and I started screaming around the golf course, and obviously I was very happy. There's many ways to play golf. You can build your own golf course by using your imagination, that's all. In my mind, I always dream and I always visualize myself become a champion. Well, I, I think it was number one, it, it is sort of natural genius, which I'd obviously seen on television and watched once or twice live. But he was finding about uh, his formative years, where he came from, how it was building up against the odds, the rags to riches story. The fact that, you know, I didn't realise, I had no idea whether he was a very clever guy or not. Um, finding out from various people, this guy was a seriously bright guy, number two, um, age 19, when he second to um, Johnny Villa in the Open. And then at 22, he's speaking on uh, British television, he's got his arms back and he's talking fluently in English. And that was in a space of three years. And this guy was expelled from school at 12, so... He said, the one with the biggest heart will win. I thought, well, you mean you, don't you? I have it in my heart because I want to win for my father. Life is like sport. The key is never give up. Uh, I quite like uh, if we could have had... At one point, I was thinking of having two young Sevies, right? One about sort of... Uh, 12, 13, the other about 16, 17. And then we, we could take it forward to his build-up to when he came second. And it's quite amusing, his first competition, which was at, uh, as a professional, was at Barcelona, at San Cugat, right? And what was so good, he, he came 20th, right? Which for your first competition, you're just 16, playing against the top Spaniards, right? That should be very, very good. But he, he burst into tears and went off in a huff into the, uh, uh, into the clubhouse or the changing rooms. And uh, Manuel Panera, who won the tournament, walked up and said, well, look, you did very well. I don't know why you're crying so much. And he said, but I should have won. I should have won. He said, he was so, I mean, all the time. I mean, it was, it was golf, 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 as I think you can see from portrayed by uh, the, the magic because all his shots is like he was a wizard no with it, it was magic <laughs> oh well I mean I, I don't think anyone would argue that would they I, I, but I also think that you know he always believed if you could see the ball and swing a club then the shot was on and you know I think Nick Rav said he played more unbelievable shots than anyone else. But also some of his wildness in later years got him into an un unbelievable position to play the unbelievable shot. If you hit it straight down the middle all the time, then you're not going to hit unbelievable shots. But he used to, you know, 
whether it was back, but he, even when he was winning towards the end, he's driving, he could go anywhere. I think that obviously everyone who loves golf should go to see the movie in order to know more about Sevi's life, that is one of the legends of this, of this sport. But also the ones that don't follow golf should see this movie because it's always interesting to know more about the great genius because it gives us like the keys of their success and we can always learn from it. Um, above all, I think it's a really beautiful story for, for the spectator.